happy Saturday to you. Welcome to Stars Touch Heartfelt Healing. This is Gina. Yeah, I wanted to go ahead and pull some cards. We have the moon going into Libra. That's going to help us to really connect to other people more than, you know, so much the nature. But we also have a lot of energies in the earth sign, so nature too. But definitely good ideas coming from others and working together. So it's a really good time to yeah, socialize and um, come up with some good ideas with other people too. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull a card out of the Angel Guidebook, and that's with Kyle Gray. All right, it's such a beautiful day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, we have honesty and communication. A lot going on in that card, and pretty colors. All right, honesty and communication. Let's take a look. And sending out to our throat chakras, you are being given an opportunity to speak your truth. You've reached a point on your journey where you must be honest with yourself and all those around you. If you're holding anything, holding anything in or feel the need to share something in order to feel free, know that your angel guide is encouraging you to act on this now. When you share your feelings and speak truthfully, you draw the support and light of the universe into your heart. If you're in a challenging position and find it difficult communicating what's in your heart, call in angels and ask them for support. Definitely, Archangel Gabriel is so helpful with that throat chakra. We'll call in Archangel Gabriel right now. They want you to know that when you speak with honesty, you, are at a, you attract experiences that lovingly reflect who you really are. If you feel a person or situation is making you lose a sense of yourself or drawing you away from joy, it's time to speak up and to make sure that you are heard. You're being guided to begin by lovingly connecting with your own heart to home in honor of what you want for yourself and your life. Take time to reflect on what is important to you, where you want to direct your energy, and what your priorities are for the next phase of your journey. It may be that you're fighting against the flow and not wanting to admit to yourself that something's holding you back or dampening your spirit. But angels love you and want you to know that honesty is the best policy for now. So yeah, sometimes it's hard to be honest because we don't want to hurt people's feelings. So we sometimes hurt our own feelings. I remember a counselor saying that to me years ago. She said, you know, I mean, I was doing haircuts after work every night for my whole forever. I mean, it was like I'd work all day and then I would do haircuts at friend's house every night. And I all of a sudden realized it was so hard for me. And the counselor said, you know, do you want to disappoint others? Are you worried more about disappointing others? Or what about disappointing yourself? And I was like, Gosh, I never thought of it that way. I'm disappointing myself. So when I actually decided to stop cutting hair, I had a chosen very few people that supported that and was grateful and happy for me to take care of myself. And those people, I'll still cut their hair right now. But the others, it was this, I felt this feeling of, you know, unworthiness. It's kind of like, if, if you can't cut my hair, <laughs> I don't need to associate with you anymore. It was like, I did that for like 10 years. It wasn't a couple days. So you really learn a lot when you put up boundaries and when you try to take care of yourself and you learn about who your true friends are. And I'm so grateful for those friends even today. All right, and I'm gonna pull one out of the Native Spirit deck, the Native Spirit Oracle. But if we never speak up, we just keep doing things that we really can't do and that's just tearing us down and we're tired and, <laughs> you know, you got to take care of yourself first or you just really lose your health. Ancient forest. Love that. That is gorgeous. I love that. All right, let's take a look. do the root chakra. Your roots go deep. Incredible, radiant, healing strength is available to you and grows within you. Do not doubt your abilities. You're so much more than you can possibly imagine. There's immense, unseen, but very real support around you. You're loved and cherished. You are grounded, stable, and strong as your spirit reaches high into the heavens. 
Your native spirit wants you to know throughout the world, those in the indigenous cultures revere what is called the tree people. The powerful life force of trees can bring healing, strengthening, and grounding energies. The kind of tree might vary from culture to culture, but the reverence and gratitude for its beneficial energies are the same. The ancient forest is alive with natural spirits. Additionally, each tree has an individual spirit, especially powerful and resilient. The forest can survive the harshest conditions because of the mutual support of the spirit and the entire forest. Your greatest strength is silent and deep. Your greatest strength is silent and deep. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> the sounds of summer, right? Inner power is found through contemplation, reflection, and meditation. Sometimes it comes from times of growth and change. Other times it springs from surviving and conquering painful situations. Adopt a tree. It can be done in one, one in your yard or one in a nearby park or wilderness. I say even in the mind. Talk to the tree, touch its bark, give thanks. And by doing so, you create an energy connection that will continue to nurture you no matter how far away you are from your adopted tree. I love it. All right, and just grounding that in. Okay, I'm going to play the singing bowl for the heart then just to end this. If you want to go ahead and just take a couple nice breaths and then relax and just let it really open your heart. Right. And we'll just go ahead and take our hands, get our energy going, and then find your energy and just bring it into your heart and then breathe in the word serenity. And release. And breathe in the word peace. And release then the word joy and release I love you guys have a wonderful day